Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the group stage for these two nations here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's the Republic of Ireland and they take on Nigeria. Well thanks Derek, this is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. This is the starting 11 for the Republic of Ireland. Well, it looks as though they're going to go with a 5-4-1. But the wing-backs will get forward when they can, and the two wide midfield players will join the striker, which would then make it a And here's the starting 11 for Nigeria. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And the game begins. Fahi. Katie McCabe. Promising possession, this. Good stop from the keeper. Well, opting for the short corner. Can she score? Just made sure nothing came of that. Shot attempted. Denied once more. Just wanted to get it out of there. Ajibade. Oh, she's in a really promising position. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And when through on goal, she makes no mistake. She just hits it so cleanly and with power. That's a great finish. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? And they have possession again. Onumonu. Palimatu Ayinde.
Opportunity to deliver the cross. Determined block. And the short option preferred. Really sound defending. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. A short corner here. Oh, fine stop. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. O'Sullivan. Teammates available. And a bad pass it was. Ifeoma Onumonu. A good looking play as she tries to get them onto the front foot. Could cross it in here. Good tackle. What can she do from here? Opportunity, maybe. It's goalkeeping of the highest class. Well, that should be a goal, really, but what a wonderful save that was. Brilliant from the goalkeeper. She's just saved her team there. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. McCabe Payne and unable to keep possession promising attack this now who can she pick out it should be well I think you could call that an escape it looked a certain goal Izzy Atkinson, Katie McCabe, Louise Quinn. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Atkinson. Surely the equaliser, and it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. And so it is, the first half story has been written.
So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. She's made a really important challenge. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. And space to exploit, maybe. Losing possession a bit easily. Alozi. Osinachi Ohale. Halimatu Ayinde. Well, really on top of her game. Will it be? Really important tackle. Rashidat Ajibade. And still looking to get the shot away. Can she connect with a teammate? Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Well, decent save there. Katie McCabe. Now with O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan still passing it around with authority can they get themselves in front here and there it is and no wonder she's off celebrating well here it is again and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line and then the shot could not be hit any better struck with such venom great goal So on with the match, 2-1 is the scoreline, what's going to happen next? Ebby. Oh, lovely weighted ball, they might be in, just straying offside. Now they're going to alter things, here's the substitution. Payne. Izzy Atkinson. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Now can she pick out a teammate? Oh, it's there for her. And she's in the mood today. She's gone and made us a double. Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Ayinde, Payne, Oshola, a really effective shielding under pressure, could reduce the deficit, and in it goes, and you never know in this game, they might yet be able to level it. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net.
Well, back underway, and a glut of goals here. 3 2. Perfect challenge. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left, and just one goal between the sides. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Determined defending. Izzy Atkinson. Heather Payne. McCabe. Now, who can she pick out? Well, she really deserves credit for that challenge. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, last gas defending, but brilliant defending. And the final whistle is sounded. Ireland have done it. Ireland have won the game. Stuart, your analysis. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end.